What's up guys, HTG Brian here, back with more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 23, never tell me the odds. Free play! We're gonna pick off all five of those mini kits and of course get all three challenges. Now it should be noted that I actually got one of the challenges in the story mode. And that was actually challenge three on the list. Take evasive action, complete the Star Destroyer encounter without being destroyed. So, although we don't die, or there's no recognition, and it actually kind of has our count off for a little bit because we already have one when we load in. But anyways, quick links down below in the video description, and just keep in mind that there are two sections of this level that you really cannot die in order to complete the challenge. One is the Star Destroyer section at the beginning, and then, of course, the Asteroid section later in the level, which is really problematic and really requires a little bit of luck, I think, too, but but maybe I'm just bad at game. Now, when you are ready to rock, go ahead and choose Never Tell Me The Odds Free Play. And go ahead and get to getting. Now, as soon as we start off, we've got the Falcon, and we're gonna go head on, we're gonna play a game of chicken with the bridge. In fact, you can see off in the back right corner, behind the ship is our first mini kit. Now, I recommend giving an old boost and getting close to the top of the tower as your stud attract should grab most of those studs, but then lay off the boost and just sort of coast down and around the side of the ship as it will uh, likely suck you into the, <laughs> the jet propulsion spots there, which will probably melt you and annihilate your ship, which if you're trying to get the make it through this section without dying, I highly recommend avoiding the old thrusters, the old flames coming out of the back of those star destroyers. I found out the hard way that, that you you can get got pretty easy there. Once you've taken out the 10 TIE Fighters, the second ship should show up and hit the old air brakes. Did you see that? And of course, it gives us this little cinematic scene. As soon as this is over, note that we're going to try to find a race. Ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. It's actually at the bottom of one of the newly uh, showed up destroyers there. And you can find it by looking for the blue icon with the flag on it. We're gonna go ahead and step right into it now. Okay, fun fact for you guys. I died a lot at the end of this level. I actually got hit by a lot of asteroids and I had to replay this level, I'm not kidding, like seven or eight times. So I got really good at this race and I did find that it sort of can start you off and send you in two different paths. I'm not sure how to start the two different routes, but I ended up finding that this route that I'm on right now was the easier of the two for me. It might have something to do with how you approach the race. And note too that I am on the throttle the whole time. And as soon as it sort of slows down a little bit, I double tap the throttle button to try and get that boost up. I got pretty good at the actual locations of where to go and thus being, I was able to knock this out in 27 seconds. You do need 32 seconds or less in order to get that mini kit as it's noted there. So uh, my best advice, stick with it, keep replaying it till you get her done. And of course, stay on the throttle too. This next section here, we are going to want to avoid taking out any of the turrets or towers on the ships. And we're going to focus on trying to get some proton torpedoes from these TIE fighters and then taking five TIEs out with those same torpedoes. So it's easy. You just simply lock onto them by aiming over their, well, just the ship itself. You can see there's a meter that fills up. Once it does, you hit the icon indicated. For us, it happens to be square. We're going to need to take out five of these guys in order to get the challenge completed. And it's pretty easy. I recommend staying pretty close to the guys you take out as a lot of them will leave proton torpedoes behind. Stay away from those long jobbies that are way out there that might not give you any of your ammo back. But you can see I just got some back right there. And as soon as you get that challenge co -co complete, we recommend taking out the series of cannons on the big ships as you'll take out four items at once with one proton torpedo. Of course, it's always okay to launch one at the little mini turrets or whatever too as long as you're doing damage and note that i recommend that as soon as you get the meter depleted up top stop controlling the falcon just let it coast because if you load into this next sequence with your hand on the throttle or you know leaning to the left or the right it is possible that it'll glitch out and you might smack right into an asteroid right at the beginning which would make you fail the challenge for asteroid evasion now also while we're trying to avoid all these asteroids there's actually five giant mini kits that we need to shoot and take down and there's also a mini kit floating in the air that we need to swoop as well so you can see right around the corner they're glowing pretty big with a nice little white 
uh, glow around them. And I recommend trying to shoot them from the distance. And of course, at the same time, you got to avoid all these asteroids, which is why I said there's a fair amount of luck required in order to take all these out. Now, if you watch our route and try to follow it as best as possible, I mean, obviously the tumbling asteroids might prevent you from taking the exact route, but it, it worked for us. And I will say, and when I went to the far right side, I got smacked around. It's kind of hard to determine where like the top and the bottom of the area is as well, because there's no real boundaries. But uh, as you can see, I get a double whammy here. I'm sh I shot the final big mini kit off in the distance and collected the floater all at once. So double whammy. And uh, you'll get the challenge complete as soon as this sequence starts if you manage to get through there without. And you can see it pop for a hot second there and it'll show me again as soon as the sequence is done. And as soon as it's done, we gotta get ready. There's another mini kit waiting for us right on the lower left side. At this point, you should have completed or maybe failed that challenge so you can smack into things here. As you can see, I get pretty close to that wall, but I collected that fifth and final mini kit. I did the old loop-de-loop -loop and took out that guy behind me. And of course, it's just right around the corner before we finish up and get taken away into the final cutscene, which again has been removed because this is that free play. But uh, we're pulling into Hoth. Now, that was that was a lot. And I hope I hope that you guys had better luck with those asteroids than I did. Because there's a couple that come flying off the screen like four or five times the speed of what you move at. And, and there's no warning or any way to avoid it. It just smack. And, of course, it, I had some bad luck with loading into that section, doing like a loop-de-loop -loop from the previous section or something. And it made the game glitch out. So I feel like being off the sticks and off the throttle in between sequences is going to help. And then, of course, just being on your toes. And you might have to go two goes, right? You might have to focus on one to get the mini kits and one to get the challenge done. And who knows? Maybe you got to do it a couple times to get them both anyways. Regardless, just know that I struggled tremendously with getting this video recorded. Uh, but as a result, I got pretty good at that race. I got a nice little route figured out in the asteroids and I uh, was able to get all those kits along the way. So woo to the who Captain Cody is jumping for joy and hopefully you are too. Don't forget to click that like button down below if you found this video helpful or maybe a wee bit entertaining. And of course, we got social media galore if you want to check us out or hang out with some other Happy Thumbs gamers. That's a good place to start. And of course, happythumbsgaming.com too, the home of our trophy, achievement guides, and more. As for me though, guys, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time...